Well, welcome back. Let's see what today brings. A bit overcast to start with, but uh, they're giving it a bit of sunshine coming through later. We'll see. It'll be nice if it does, just warming up a bit more. But it's uh, nice to be in the plus figures anyway to start with. So, no ice at all. That makes a change compared to last time. Back in morning. Giving virtually no wind all day. This is Saturday, so bring it on. And then uh, a little bit of wind coming through Sunday afternoon. Not my problem, so happy days. Let's uh, let's get the day under underway with. So just coming up the dock edge, Eaching Bridge in the in the background there. Beautiful morning. So uh, let's see if uh, you know what is still out there. It's been one or two calls this week. It's the good weather, so you never know. Got to be in it to win it. All the usual tactics. Haven't changed anything, so all I've got is uh, squid and mackerel. So let's uh, let's see what happens. I've just got all the screen. Every screen is on this morning, just to run it all up, just check it all. Radar's working well there, as you can see on the front screen. So happy days. All the sounders are good. Bring it on. Well, welcome back. Anchors in. Got a couple of bites already. Been out about probably about 15 minutes. What a beautiful morning. Look at this. Just fishing, as I say, last of the ebb. Squid and mackerel, no blacks. It's a big old tide this weekend, so fingers crossed, uh, get a nice bit of tide run. But that rod there is just starting to bounce away there. Probably a doggy. Couple of rattles there. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens. Absolutely gorgeous. Sun's supposed to be out later, like I said earlier, so fingers crossed. So I'm just doing a software update on the uh, Miaxiums. That's all going okay at the moment, so that's good. Hopefully you will see you know what, but as I say, there's been one or two caught this week, but as I say it's getting it's getting later and later, so your chances are dwindling off all the time <laughs> look at that one that's a doggy there but yeah hardly any tide now tide's still just ebbing but almost slack right so I'm going to do the first bait check see what's occurring and uh, fingers crossed I can bring you chaps some action fishing action that is bring it on Right, as I say, let's have a look. Let's see what's happening. Definitely a doggy or something on it. It's a doggy, I know that. Yep. There I say, at least I haven't blanked. Just waiting for the mackerel to thaw out a bit more and then I'll uh, put a little strip of mackerel on there. As I say, fishing this time of the year isn't fast and furious. So the more scent you can get on, especially with no wheels here, that is a bonus. So it's just standard panel. So I've got six O wide gapes. 2 panel and uh, like I said I've said it a few times now they are Berebus 
and they are fantastic hooks. Very, very impressed. That's uh, almost a five foot trace. Give her a good old cast down tide. And uh, where it's a big tide, I am literally in 12 foot of water. So, so from a scare point of view, you don't want to make too much noise. That is uh, why up tiding is good, because you do have a scare area around the boat, but in 12 foot of water, I certainly don't want to be close to it. Nope, although I had a couple of taps on that, nothing. So what I'll do is rebait a fresh one. I don't mind throwing bits in. It's, it's, it's certainly handy uh, in this depth of water because you are effectively ground baiting. So I'm not worried about that throwing a bit back. I know it's going to get nearly in my uh, area just going to tip that one with a whole squid I'm not worried if that comes off with the first because if there is the odd doggy there if it nips that last bit of squid off it can go down tide and chew away and hopefully leave uh, still leave that that's it always stop it just as the lead's hitting just throws the trace out of the way Right, set the drag. Fantastic reels, those uh, accurates. Right, bring it on. They're just checking the up tider, and like I said, I had some bites on it. Feels like a doggy. There we go, number two doggy. I don't think they're going to be too much of a problem today. <sighs> Get that bit. Got my diesel eater going. So after putting this horrible cold squid on, and warm my hands up, it dries them out nicely and they stay warm all day all thanks to the diesel heater now that tide's easing off now so I won't go quite so far up tide now, I'll go across the tide and keep it out of the way I'll tip that off with that bit of squid do like using the Gemini Long tail up tide leads. Well, say they're up tide leads, sure as well. But I like that because that when that does go, it will individually break out. So you're not just bouncing a, the lead across the bottom as it pulls. So I'm gonna go straight across tide now. God that shallow, there you go, hit the bottom in seconds. So I'm just gonna let as much line as I can in with no ties but it's just keeping it away from the boat well away from the boat or like the down tiders so when that tide starts to flood then I'll uh, I'll whack it out properly bring it on two dogs so far I have to say a little bit slow today 
Well, just the two dogs so far, I have to say, a bit slow. Um, bites are very intermittent. You'll get a good rattle and then it will just disappear. So they're, they're only really mouthing the baits. Uh, mackerel's on now, so that's good. So that might uh, improve things a little bit. But uh, no, but still, look at this, it's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous weather at the moment, so that's a bonus, even if the fishing's a bit slow. <clears throat> but it is January after all, so it will be uh, a little bit slower. So happy days, just uh, perseverance, keep at it. I reckon this sun's going to break through soon, and that'll be even better. Bring it on. Wow, look at this weather now. Woo, like a summer's day. Well, the fish ain't playing ball. Just the two dogfish so far. Putting plenty of fresh bait down. <clears throat> well, I'm happy to sit here in this weather. Can't beat this, can you? Look at that, it's gorgeous. Sun's out. It's certainly getting warmer now. Absolutely stunning. Who cares if the fish don't want to play ball? Well, I do, of course I do. But it is what it is. I can't do no more. Constantly putting fresh bait down. I'm on a spot that produces. So if they're not here, they're not here. Right, I'm gonna do a bait check. Happy days. Oh, well, this is powder or whiting. Oh, that's a dog. That's weird. That's number three. That's grim, isn't it? <laughs> Just looked on the panel. Happy day. Well, it's a bit slow today. Just the three dogs so far. Still got a few hours left. Well, I'll say a few, probably about three hours left. Hopefully this next uh, tide will <coughs> hopefully move them on a bit. Uh, I'm getting the odd rattle, but they're just, it's almost like, yeah, I'm just gonna have a nibble and that's it. Um, but it is what it is. A little bit of breeze got up now from the north. A little bit of movement on the water. Might be a bit of a pain trying to swing around in this slight breeze. But uh, the sun's, uh, sun's gone in. Bit of a shame. But it is what it is. Happy days. Still nice being out here. Everything works on the way out. I had everything running, so that's yeah, good. Still sort of like doing 20 minute, half hour bait checks, max, regardless of anything. Uh, a couple of times it's come in, not even really touched. Certainly haven't used a lot of bait today. Still, a little bit more time to go, so you never know. the old tide uh, tide's picked up now so it's uh, the boat swung around a bit more so that's good starting to get a few more little nibbles now so that's a that's a better sign uh, it's always on this run of the tide that I have had the cod in the past last weekend before Christmas so let's hope uh, the next hour and a half will uh, might produce if not just get a few more fish wouldn't be a bad uh, Bad shout at the moment. Yeah, not exactly a fast and furious day. Well, no, bloody. Slow. 
Well, now that tide's picked up, I'm just starting to get a few more bites. Just had another doggy, so. Still very slow day though, only four dogs. Bit of a struggle. I was thinking earlier that, to be fair, this could be my last trip for about a month. There's a few uh, maintenance things to do on the boat, so I might just uh, call that out for a little while. It's been quite a good start to the season, so I can't complain. But there is a few uh, few things I want to sort out on the boat, so I shall probably, uh, like I say, do a few weeks maintenance, servicing bits and pieces. <clears throat> well, if they're not there, they're not there. And it certainly isn't through uh, lack of trying today. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> but it's been enjoyable. Managed to tinker around the boat and do bits. That's what it's all about. Well, the old bites are uh, picked right up now. I might have another doggy here. Yep, that's number six. Still got plenty of bait, so I'm gonna still, still keep trying. Big old squid in this box. As I say, I'm getting quite a few rattles now. Just tip that off with a bit of mackerel. That one's going. Got tired of was going a little bit earlier, just a couple of taps. It's only one of the big fish, would have pulled the lead out otherwise. Let's get that tide back. That was the main thing. Right, bring it on. Well, as soon as I had that doggy, this one started going then. It's like another dog. Yep, I'm seven. Said it once and said it twice, it's certainly worth having that diesel eater in there. <laughs> certainly makes it more uh, a bit more enjoyable. At least you can warm your hands up and dry them off.
with that with mackerel, like I said. Holding comfortably with five ounces. Beautiful. Check on that upside up. No, nothing on here. Right, let's get it back out there. Absolutely gutted. I think I just dropped one on this rod here. Real heavy nods, then arched over. I picked it up, trotted it back and gutted. And then I thought, well, I'll do the bait check. Let it there a few more minutes, let it go back, nothing. Done a bait check, not even touched. So that could have been what we're after. If it was an eel, we'd have stripped the bait. It would have stayed there and had another go of it. Weren't really hard enough for a bass. Certainly wasn't a ray. Only narrows it down to one thing, but who knows? I'm going to say it possibly was. <laughs> just to cheer me up. Well, it's now just gone five o'clock, so I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm going to give it until six. Unless something comes out, pulls something out of the bag, I don't know. But that's my, uh, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm up to nine dogs so far. No pout, no whiting. I've had rattles from them. But I haven't hooked anything like that. So, let's see what happens. One hour to go. Bring it on. Well, I can't say I didn't try today, but... It ain't gonna happen so literally I'm just about to wind in uh, nine dogs drop that possible cod I think it was uh, and that's it I can't really say anything else <laughs> I did try uh, I can't complain I had two last Saturday uh, two small ones as you've probably seen on my other videos so uh, yeah it is what it is but I'm certainly chuffed for young Reese, dyslexic angler, his YouTube uh, channel. Um, he's literally only been fishing an hour and a half. Uh, I think he's packing up now. And he had one, I suppose, within a few minutes of uh, doing the live on his YouTube. So happy days. Well done, Reese. Nice one. Check it out, dyslexic angler. He's only a little, a uh, few hundred, well, I'd say a few hundred, probably about a quarter of a mile, nearly half a mile down tide of me. Um, so they are here still. Um, a lot of boats out, well, there was a few boats out here today. A few were moving about, so I'm assuming it was a bit slow, but sometimes you just got to sit it out and just hope uh, one comes your way. Should I have moved? I don't know, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's definitely me done, so I'm just going to... Uh, bring him for the final time have a clear up and I'll speak to you in a bit when I've got the anchor up so tiggity boo speak to you in a bit well that's it that's it for another Dobbo's fishing adventures oh dear right anchors up radars on plotters on I'll probably put my camera on in a minute. Um, yeah, well, I hope you've uh, kind of liked what you've seen today. It's a pretty boring video, but got to take the rough with the smooth. <clears throat> the good times, the bad times. Happens to all of us many times over. So, uh, if you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. And thank you for watching. <clears throat> 
and check out Dyslex dyslexic angler Reese with his cod which he had within about 15 20 minutes of anchoring up just down tight for me so brilliant to him right dare I say let's get in until next time thanks for watching